Hey everybody, this week's video is going to be a little different than the others. Um, for the past week, I have been extremely busy with learning and reading and absorbing a lot of new information. Um, I've, I've felt kind of um, off the last couple weeks, um, mainly because I feel like I'm teaching you all such wonderful things about growing your e-commerce business, but those things almost feel to me um, very surface. And so I've been I've been observing a lot in the last couple of weeks, and I've been reading posts, and I've been um, I've been reading comments to posts, and and all the different groups. I've been. Uh, watching a lot of um, different uh, behaviors and dynamics among people in our groups and and I and of course I do research daily it's part of my job it's part of my um, commitment to you is to always bring you current and accurate and um, uh, trending information um, so I do that daily but but I started to notice this pattern or trend in the groups that really kind of put those that are successful with their businesses above, I, I don't even know if I'd say above, but apart from those that are, are continual, continuously struggling. So I started doing a lot of reading and, and, and reflection and I realized that because for me, it's so important to bring you all up. It's not just um, up in sales, but just up in general. I, I mean, I'm called the joyful entrepreneur because it's it means more to me um, to have a positive lifestyle and a happy lifestyle, a joyous lifestyle. Um, I'm not just an everyday e-commerce business coach. There's lots of them out there. Um, and they're wonderful, um, wonderful people, and they they teach good things. Um, so yes, of course, I want to teach you how to grow your business online and to take your business to the next level. But I feel almost a uh, responsibility to you to also teach you um, ways to improve your life, your life in general, and. I feel that my success was not, and we talked about this a little bit in the vision board um, video I did at the beginning of the year. I feel that much of my success, sorry, I didn't turn my notifications off. Um, I feel that most of my success is not because of what I sold or having a background in sales or, um, really knowing how to make my copy yummy and and all of those things those are the five pillars of e-commerce and i teach them and they're very important they're the they're very very important um but i really believe that my true success has come from all the years that i've studied and read and practiced positive thinking affirmations manifestation um, being kind um, to others, um, not being judgmental. I think those intangible things probably added to my success more, more than the five pillars of e-commerce that I that I teach so often. So. You know, for me, I don't want to let you down in any way. And so I've seen some people that are really applying the five pillars of e-commerce and they're doing well, they're doing better, but they're still lacking in some areas. And, um, and then I see others that they're just not, um, they're not really uh, putting in the work at all. Um, they're doing what a lot of coaches call hope marketing or hope selling and that is where you know they're um uh, just hoping that the sales will come in and hoping that their their lives will change and waiting and wishing upon that star for the next big thing um and i i know from experience and i know from what i've read 
that 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 doesn't usually work. So I would like to talk today, and, and I know that those two posts that I made in Flourish uh, the last couple days, they were kind of deep and raw, um, but I think that it's important for us as a group, as, as people, as individuals, um, as members of society even, to look within ourselves sometimes. Um, stop pointing the finger at every other thing out there, whether it's your family or your circumstance or your upbringing or your environment um, or your illness or your disability and to look within and ask yourself, what are you worth? And what do you deserve? So these are very um, important questions that I'm, I'm glad that I was able to ask. And I am so grateful to all of you for really not scrolling past. I mean, some of the responses were amazing. And, and to see that reflection um, that you are all doing and asking yourself, I got another huge amount of responses sent to me via PM. So... I, that, that was impactful for me. That was for me to see that, that just asking those questions made such a difference in the group. Um, only strengthens the belief now that, uh, that I need to teach more than just the surface e-commerce stuff. You can have all of the instructions to grow your business online, which we provide. We, we spend a lot of time talking about SEO and product photography and and marketing and social media and pricing and copy and that's what we do and that's amazing and it will help you grow your business it will take your business to the next level it's it's helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of members but I want you to be successful and and with that success I want you to be happy and I want you to feel balanced so I think that we, from time to time, should really talk a lot about mindset. We should talk about how we're feeling. We should talk about balance. We should talk about um, knowledge. Um, so th those are things that I would like to talk about in this video. So if it seems kind of weird or different because I'm not really recapping the week, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll add a little bit of that in. I'm going to be looking at some notes that I took this week. I'm going to be looking at my calendar. So I, I just really want to connect with you guys um, without seeming too weird or creepy <laughs> um, because I care about you. And I, I guess just these last couple of weeks and, and all the stuff that I've been learning and reading, I keep thinking about you. I keep thinking about my members, specific people sometimes, sometimes just the group in general. And I feel like I'm at a place where you, most of you listen to me. You read my posts and you watch my videos. So I feel that our responsibility to help um, give a well-rounded approach to having a success successful business and not just the surface things. So here we go. You're going to be kind of with me on this journey of craziness. Um, so I, I just want to kind of talk about some things. I see members often, more often than not, post that they're not happy with the results that they're seeing uh, in their businesses. And I'm not going to say complain because I don't mean this in a negative way. I don't mean, oh, so-and-so is complaining again. That's not at all what I mean. I've been there. I still am there. There are days when I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't moving quick enough for me or this isn't whatever it is. So that's the human condition. We tend to, we're, we tend to be hardwired to complain and to point out what's not going right in our life. So we, we, we see it and we talk about it so much more than we see and talk about the good things in our life. Um, you, 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 you usually see that in reviews. Um, it's very, it's not as common for someone to be really happy with something they receive to go leave you a review. They don't think about it. They're happy with their purchase and they move on. 
Whereas those that have not had such a good experience, they tend to, you know, where can I leave a review? Where can I complain about this? You know, so I, I think it's, I think it's normal. Um, but when I see people express that, I want to ask them, what have you done to make a difference? So what have you done to not have this kind of outcome? And a lot of times when I talk to people and my clients in coaching sessions or in private messages, they, I ask them, well, what did you do? What did you do to get here? And what, what result are you seeing that you're not happy with? What, what kind of outcome, what work did you do to get that kind of outcome? And most of the responses are, well, nothing really. I just, you know, I, I loaded this, I put this up here and it's just not working. Well, what's not working? So it comes down to knowledge, um, education, reading, absorbing, whatever it is, um, experimenting, um, the difference in the pattern and that ingredient I was talking about in my post from the successful businesses and I don't just mean the 100 Kers. I mean people that are overall successful in their business and in life. I hardly ever see them complain. Hardly ever. Um, it's if there's a problem in their life, in their job, they instead of, of, of reaching out and saying, oh, I give up, I wanna quit, this isn't working they're usually not posting because they're working on solving whatever problem it is that has come up in their business or their life. So please don't take this the wrong way. If you're, if you're one of those members that get on and say, ah, oh, nothing's working, I haven't seen a sale since November, I'm not, I'm not singling you out. It may seem that I am, I'm not. I'm not, I, I have done the same thing. So I'm right there with you guys. Everybody has, even these successful people have at some point in their life. I would rather see you take that, whatever it is that you're feeling and, and, and really use that as a good piece of information. So this is not working, this outcome or whatever it is that's happening in my life, in my business right now, something's broken. I am going to now become a detective and I'm gonna figure out why it's broken. And I'm gonna put in the work. So in Flourish, of course, we offer a ton of information. We have it in files, we have SEO, we have copy, we have photography, we have all kinds of stuff, target market information. Um, videos by me um, we're, we're starting an inspirational file so sometimes we just feel down sometimes it's time of, it's the time of the month for us women um, men you're kind of lucky although you have to deal with us during that time sometimes we're just down and we just need to be motivated or we feel like we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and sometimes you just need to recognize hey I am in a funk not an uptown funk I'm in a funk, you know, I am in a, I'm in a dip, I'm in a valley. And you just gotta hold on and put one foot in front of the other until you can get out of that dip. But the best thing you can do when you're struggling is to gain information, to get knowledge, to read, to study, to research, figure it out. Don't, don't do the woe is me. Don't have that pity party, if you do, have it for a little teeny tiny bit, okay? I really, I just, I'm seeing this in, in our groups now that we have so many people. I'm seeing a, a real difference between those that do and make things happen and then those that wait and wish and watch and wonder why things are happening or why things are happening to them instead of them uh, taking responsibility for themselves and making what they want happen. So once you gain all of this knowledge, you need to then have a strategy. You need to have a plan. Well, I want to have this many sales, or I want to I want to be on this many sites, or I want to have my own website, or I want to do 
uh, craft shows or I want to be in a magazine or I want to be on the Today Show or whatever, whatever it is that you want for your business. You need to have a plan. You have to have a strategy. Now, this doesn't have to. We've talked about this. We talked about this at the beginning of the year. I, I don't mean that you need to have all these goals and they need to be, you know, well organized. And it's good to have an idea of where you're going, but you need to have a strategy. So today in the club, somebody, and I'm sorry, I think Jamie, uh, I'd have to get to the club, made a post and she said that the, the, the post that I had made about asking if you deserve um, your business and be a successful business um, said that she, it really kicked her in the butt because she has been in a funk and she doesn't know what's going on and she doesn't and, and she is overwhelmed by the information and and the unknown is unknown but she's going to do something about it she is going to start somewhere she doesn't feel that there is a a really good starting point so she's just picking one she could blame me she could say sarah you know what i do deserve my business and that's why i'm here and that's why i'm in flourish and i just feel that you're not organizing your program well enough so uh, I don't really know where to start and I mean I would like to get started but since you're not really holding my hand and pointing the way then I just guess I will wait until you tell me to do that not that anybody has done that <laughs> I'm just giving you an example she read that post she internalized it and she and she said you know what I don't have the answer I don't have the answer I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to do but I'm gonna do something I am going to do something. I am going to start somewhere. I'm going to start with SEO. And I'm not going to look at pictures. I am not going to read copy. I'm not going to research anyone else's shot. I'm not doing anything, but I am going to focus on SEO. And I promise you, we should check in with this member. As soon as I figure out her name, we should check in with this, this member in a couple months and I guarantee you she will be successful in some way, shape or form because of that decision. Because she has said, she has decided, I'm not going to point fingers. I am not going to pay, place blame. I'm going to take responsibility for my business. I may not know the answers, but I'm going to learn them. I'm going to gain knowledge and I have a strategy. My strategy is... I am going to learn SEO. So then what is the next step? It's execution. All right. She's then going to take action. I don't know what she's doing right now as I'm recording this video. It could have been that she made a post and she was just trying to, um, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm betting probably she's already downloaded all our SEO information. I'm betting she's probably watching our SEO videos. She's taking action. So th that might be a teeny tiny little step, but it, that's okay. Sometimes, and I get this a lot from members, they feel like, and I and this, and the reason why I run into this stuff is because we're creatives. We're not necessarily business people. We're not necessarily sales people. We're creatives. We're artists. We're poets. We're painters. We're crafts craftsmen and craftswomen. We're not necessarily business people, so it's overwhelming. It's a lot of information that you have to learn that your brain necessarily doesn't understand. And even though the information is out there, you feel like I don't really know where to get started because it's so overwhelming. And so we say in the group a lot, how do you eat an elephant? Hopefully you wouldn't eat an elephant. But if you had to eat an elephant, how would you eat it? You would eat it one bite at a time. So I, I just, I really, I really think that you guys have to breathe and believe in yourself and kind of get the noise out of your head and get some knowledge, make a strategy and execute that strategy to get started and putting your plan in place to become successful. Now, this is not something that you're going to do all at once. This is something that's going to take, you're going to have to think about it. 
How is it going to apply to you and your situation? What areas are you struggling with right now? What areas, uh, and I ask this in all of my coaching sessions, the, the members that have had coaching sessions with me will tell you, um, I always ask, what, what areas are you uncomfortable with? What areas right now are blocks for you? What areas do you struggle with the most? Because those are the areas you need to give attention to. So, um, you know, when you see that and you get into that kind of um, mode, um, you end up taking responsibility for your business. You end up taking responsibility for yourself. And that's when change is made. So, you know, 80% of businesses, they, they, they fail. They tend to fail within the first two years. And that's usually because they're executing before the first two steps, before they're gaining knowledge, before they're, they're forming a strategy. And, and with creatives, this happens a lot because we already know how to create. So we already have that part down. Like to us, that's the executing. Well, we have to make this to sell it. So, so we make it, right? But you don't know if it's gonna sell. Have you done market research? Do you know your target markets? Do you know how many clients I have that we talk about branding and we talk about um, um, uh, product lines and we talk about uh, keywords and they don't know who their target market is. How So you're putting the cart before the horse, as my dad would say. You, you have to have that knowledge, who's your target market, before you can form a strategy and execute it to be successful. Um, I don't want you to be that 80%. And, and it's my job as your business coach, it's my job as your mentor, it's my job as whatever I am to you, your friend, to, to, to teach you the right way and to show you that there is a way that you can do this and, and, and you can start from right where you are. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on courses and you don't need to spend you know, money on getting any kind of degree or anything. You just need to start right where you are with 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 all that you have right now and you can take it to that next level and I'll help you we, we all will you need to invest in yourself I want you to look through your bank statements today or take some time and think about yourself you know the other day it was what, what was it what holiday was it Valentine's I think it was Valentine's Day and I was running around at the last minute. I'm a big last minute person. Um, I'm a big procrastinator. It's an issue I have. I work on it. Um, and I was in the store at the last minute. I think it was the night before Valentine's Day and I was buying some gifts for my children and my husband. I was getting him some cologne or something and um, I ended up getting myself deodorant. I was at the drugstore and I was getting like something really cute, like these bears for my children and this nice bottle of cologne for my husband. And I had some um, chocolates or something. And, and then this was for everybody else, right? And then I had a, a thing of deodorant, <laughs> of secret deodorant. That's what I use, by the way, deodorant. Um, and I kind of chuckled to myself that... And not because it was Valentine's Day, because of course you don't normally buy yourself something for Valentine's Day, but it was just funny that I knew on Valentine's Day, I mean, this is nothing against my husband. He's just, he's a man. He's just, you know, um, not very um, romantic in that way. Um, he'll probably kill me if he sees this video. But I, I just knew that, you know, I love taking care of, of everybody else. I love taking care of my family. I love taking care of my friends. I love doing things for people. I very rarely do things for myself. I think that's common for women in general, um, but even more so, I think, with creatives. And it made me wonder, you know, how much do I invest in myself? You know, Caitlin Kelly, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, so I might get in trouble for it, but she... Um, she messages us. We have our admin group that we talk and she gets massages every once in a while. And I think, oh my gosh, how amazing would that be to go and get a massage? You know, I make enough money to, to have a massage. If I want to go get a massage, I should go get a massage. But I feel weird about it. Like, well, no, I don't really need a massage. I do. Let me tell you, I, I sit 
all day. I need a massage. I got all kinds of problems that need to be worked out. But I, but but just even thinking about treating myself to a massage. I work. My husband does not work. I mean, he does in the house, and he takes care of the kids. So believe me, he works. But I'm I'm the, I bring in the money. I should be able to to go have a massage. But it makes me feel weird. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Why is that? We we don't. We don't invest in ourselves, and that is who we should be investing in. We should be investing in ourselves. And I don't mean just pleasurable things like getting a massage or getting your nails done or something like that, but also your brain, your knowledge. You're a business owner. All of you are. And I know that Flourish is an investment, so you've already taken that kind of step. And many of you have had critiques and coaching sessions, and you're that's wonderful. That shows me that tells me that you are investing in your business you're investing in yourself but what about what about your mind so in that in that post i asked do you deserve to have success do you deserve it are you worthy of it and so many of you didn't couldn't even say the word deserve so many of you had to automatically kind of like shy away from that word and that's, that's kind of how I felt about the massage. Uh, I don't need a massage, you know. You know, I can spend that money elsewhere or whatever. All of you have made this step to join Flourish and to get more information. How many of you have an illness or a disability? Many of you do. How many of you also have children? How many of you are juggling another job your children and your illness and your handmade business i bet a lot of you you are worthy of it you don't think of it as that you don't want to think of yourself as worthy because that's being cocky or that's being entitled that's not true that's absolutely not true let me um read to you deserve deserve as a verb, um, to be worthy of, to be worthy of. That's what deserve means. I am at the Merriam-Webster dictionary website. Isn't that the like end all be all? Deserve, verb, it's a verb. To be worthy of. Are all, I, I asked all of you, are you worthy of success? Have you have you done the work? There was a quote and I and I and I read it. Let's see if I can find it. It, it, it stuck with me. Um, I took notes. It, it, this person said, "Should should undeserving people be rewarded?" And and then and then he said, "The world isn't crazy enough to reward." undeserving people and and he used an example about being fit he uh said um do you deserve to be fit if you're eating fast food all day every day mcdonald's all the time he said um you want to lose 100 pounds do you deserve to lose 100 pounds do you know how many grams of sugar you should eat every day do you know how many grams of protein you should eat every day if you say no you don't know then you don't deserve to, to lose 100 pounds because you don't know enough. You can't just hope that you lose 100 pounds. You can't just hope that you're fit while you eat fast food. And you can't just hope to grow your business if you don't know anything about it. You need to know your business. You don't need to just know your craft. You, you don't need to just know how to crochet. You don't need to just know how to heat press. You don't need to know how to paint, uh, paint a portrait. It's one thing to be an artist. It's one thing to be a creative. It's a whole other thing to want to sell it and make money and be successful. So you have to know that then has to be your craft. That then has to fulfill you. Not just your art, not just your craft, not just your hobby, but learning how to market it, learning how to promote it, learning how to grow. Some of, it, some of it's not fun. I mean, there's things that I don't like to do. Y'all know my aversion to spreadsheets. But I do have to work at it when I have to work at it. 
And I can't say that I'm going to be a successful business person if I refuse to look at a spreadsheet. Do you deserve it? Are you worthy of it? If you're putting in this work, research, whatever it is, uh, energy, then yes, I think that you deserve it, that you're worthy of it. If you're not, that doesn't mean you can't become worthy of it. That doesn't mean that you can't become successful. It means that you have to make a decision and you have to make that decision today or soon and say, this is a hobby for me and I would like to make a little bit of extra money on the side, but that's all it is and I'm perfectly fine with that being all it is, then fine. Then that is your version of success. But if there's others of you that say, I can't pay the rent, I can't pay the electric, I don't have, you know, I don't have a car, I, I don't, um, I, I can't do this, my children need this, then, then you need, if this is, if you're saying, I want my business to be a six-figure business, I want my business to pay the rent, I want my business to blow up, I want to be in Martha Stewart Magazine, whatever it is, then you have to be worth it. And that means that you have to take that time and invest in yourself, invest in your business, read a lot, reach out to mentors, coaches, people that, that are where you want to be and connect with them, grab on to them, listen to them. You know, today I talked a lot about, let me get back to me here. Today I talked a lot about um, surrounding yourself with positive people, with good people, with influential people. That's so important. You, it's very difficult for you to grow in a negative environment. Sorry, my video froze. So I was talking about really deleting or hiding people that, that are affecting you negatively or that are toxic. Those are things that we have to do to get that negativity out. You know, start following other mentors and other people that you feel and whatever whatever um, explanation or whatever a description, what, whoever you describe as successful, follow those people, read more. Um, you know, try to read at least two books a month. So, I really, I know all of you. I mean, I see all of you and I know you all can be hugely successful and I want to help, but I really need to, to tell you these things because I see so much of it, um, you know, in all the different groups and reading all the different comments and posts. And it's just a very important part of growing yourself and growing your business is really taking a good look at yourself and asking yourself, are you worthy? Do you deserve it? Are you putting in the work? Are you putting in the research? Are you, do you have the right mindset? Do you, do you know how many people said yesterday that they were afraid of being successful? I'm afraid. I don't know what that would look like. Address that. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to have fear, especially when, when you're learning things that you've never known before and you're starting to get you know, a lot of people say, oh, I want sales, I want sales, I want sales. Then they start getting sales and they're freaking out. They're, oh my God, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? Oh my gosh. So it's okay to have fear. It's okay to kind of go outside of your comfort zone, but don't let that hold you back. Instead, look at it, shine a light on it and figure it out. Okay. Um... All right, so I'm sorry to kind of go over that. I don't know. I've never edited a video before, so I'm not really sure if I'm, <laughs> if I'm going to post two videos or if I am going to figure out how to make this video into the other video. I don't know. Um, so you guys will see, I guess, whatever I decide uh, when I post this. Um, so I think that's really it. I think I've, I've uh, a lot of the notes that I've written, I think that I kind of went over all of that. Um, that I really wanted to mention to you guys. Um, in the groups, there's a lot of um, reorganizing right now. There's a lot of different um, things going on. So I don't know how many of you noticed or not, but we've combined some events. Again, you guys, if you want to um, have, if you have specific questions regarding specific topics, check out the events tab in the main Flourish group. Just click on events. You'll see a whole list of events that we have listed like SEO and copy and 
business development, stuff like that. Join those events. Don't worry about the dates and times. Don't worry about them. They don't matter. That's just a placeholder on Facebook we have to have. Um, join the ones that you want to join. Just join in there and ask your question. Our experts that are in those specific topics, they check in once a day. Um, if they miss, Heather Jones goes in my assistant. She goes in and she tags them. So really that's the best way for you to get expert help on those specific topics. Um, also, we're doing a lot of reconciling. So PayPal, you know how you pay your subscription. Um, PayPal is very archaic with reporting and with um, payment management. So a lot of people, if they don't have money in their PayPal account, when it goes to pull out your membership, um, it will wait five days, it will try again, and if there's still no money in the account, it suspends the account. We cannot reactivate that account, and, and you can't, so you have to actually resubscribe. It's a big, huge, lengthy process. Anyway, um, I have been, both Heather and I have been really active in creating things on our websites and in the, in the groups, and I haven't been paying attention to that on PayPal. So there's a large group of people that their accounts were suspended that are still in the group. So Heather is reconciling. And, and we know a lot of this is just expired credit cards. Uh, your credit card changed, the number changed. There's a million different reasons why it would happen. But um, if you find yourself kicked out of the group, just contact Heather, Heather Jones, and um, and she will give you the link to resubscribe if, if your account had been suspended. Um, there is a, a place now, a page, um, there are hidden pages on my website where you can subscribe at the uh, amount that you signed up for. So we've gotten that all worked out. Um, but just if you see that, or if you get a note from Heather saying, Hey, I need you guys to resubscribe. That's what it's about. Um, oh, I wanted to, to, to kind of say something else. This kind of goes about with, with what I was talking about earlier. So I've seen a lot of people lately, they want to, they, they contact me privately and, and send me their stats or, you know, want to celebrate a win and they're sending it to me privately and I love it. I do. I'm not saying to stop doing that. I want you guys to be able to do this in the group. And so many members are saying, well, I don't feel comfortable because when I do, everybody gets offended or they get hurt, their feelings hurt or uh, they think I'm bragging. That is not what Flourish is about, you guys. We are here to support each other, period. And I'm sorry that if you see people posting their stats or their wins, I, I really am sorry if that makes you feel bad, but it should not. You should be celebrating each other. Celebrate everybody. This isn't just in the group. Everybody in life, celebrate everybody's wins. Don't focus on you not having wins because when you start celebrating others, you yourself will start to have wins yourself. You have to give, give, give the joy, give the, the, the applause, give the, the energy and the gratitude, uh, you know, the cele celebratory things out to your fellow members, to your fellow people in the world. Celebrate others. All right, they're not bragging, they're excited. They're like, woohoo, this is working, this is awesome. And how do you think it helps, how do you think it, it affects me as a business? If nobody celebrates their wins, how does anybody know Flourish is working? <laughs> so it's important, I want you guys sharing those testimonials. Share your stats, I wanna see it in Joyful, I wanna see it in, in, in among the group. I mean, yeah, we're here to learn, we're here to teach, but you learn from your fellow members just as much. Your fellow members can be fellow experts if they're good at something. It's important that we all build each other up and that we motivate each other. Let everybody know this can be done, okay? So I really want everybody to start celebrating wins and, and, and high-fiving each other. I mean, you don't have to, but but please don't pick on other people if, if they want to share their stats or if they want to say they've had an awesome day, you know, please. I made a post last week about smells on products. I won't spend a lot of time about on that today because I'm already not sure how this whole video situation is going to work out. Um, the, the, the smoking. Guys, if you smoke, do not smoke in your work area. 
Don't smoke anywhere near your work area. And if you smoke outside or, or in another place, wash your hands before you do your work. I'm just saying that I've gotten so many reports over the last month about even other members getting items from other members and it's smelling like smoke. And, and I've in my own personal business, I've in, in working with clients, I've seen, I've just seen so many bad reviews come in just because the products smell bad. And it's not just cigarettes. It's, it's perfume. It's, I mean, it's, um, detergents. I mean, just, just be mindful of your items. And when you're packaging them up, know that if you're in an environment where you smell cigarette smoke all the time, or you, uh, use air freshener a lot or whatever, or incense or whatever it is a lot, you are immune kind of to those smells. And you, and you, what you do is you end up kind of like, especially with air freshener or incense, you end up using more because you can't, you start to not smell it. It's strong for those that don't use it and they smell it on your product. So just as just a tip, tip and trick, try to keep the scents out of your workspace. All right, um, I created a Flourish Mids group. There was overall, everybody's pretty happy about that. There was a couple people that were not so happy about it. Please, please know, I don't do anything in Flourish unless it is the majority um, requested. So most people um, over the last couple months, really, I have been getting request after request after request saying these people want to be in the Flourish 100K group, but they can't because they're like making 50 or 60 on their business. They would like to have a separate place so that they're not always having to sift through all the beginner questions for all the beginner sellers or the sellers that are only making five or $10,000, which is plenty for some people, but they're trying to get to the other stuff. So we had to create this group. It does not mean they're not gonna be in the club and they're not gonna be interacting and Flourish uh, under the comments or even the event tabs or the lounge. It just means they can go to their own separate group and learn di directly what they need quickly. It's just trying to make it more efficient. It's not trying to create any kind of division. Um, the hundred Kers are in all the groups all the t all the time. Believe me, I'm. I mean, I'm in the groups 15 hours a day. They're all in there, interacting with everybody. So don't think that well. Then we won't have interaction from these higher sellers because you will. You still do every day. So please. If, if, if I find that there's any kind of problem with any of this, I, I'll disband, disband them. But so far, the Flourish 100K group has worked out great. So please don't be upset about that. Okay, um, clicks and groups. I, I just want to try to address uh, some of the complaints that um, I've heard um, over the last week. Clicks and groups, clicks, clicks, clicks. <laughs> um, I'm sure that as people join, the groups, depending on when they join and, and, and they join together or they have certain buddies or they have certain, they're in the same industry, there are some clicks. I mean, there are some, there's some people that have become friends. Um, but I've kind of noticed, I've, I've had, I've seen a couple comments in a negative way. Please don't um, feel that there are people that are only going to pay attention to certain other people. Because that's just not true. Of course, if your friend makes a comment and, and you kind of joke back and forth, that's friendship. It's kind of, you know, friendly banter that goes, you know, back and forth. Um, if there's a new name or somebody that you don't recognize, you may not feel as comfortable in bantering back and forth or whatever. But new people are jumping right in there and getting involved and answering other people's. You're going to end up being friends with these same people that you may think have clicks. So... Um, please, if you're new or if you're just, uh, if, you, if you feel like maybe there's some clicks or there's some groups of people, you know, just make an effort and jump right in, uh, you know, get involved and, and, uh, answer on their posts and get to know, get to know your fellow members. So it's really, everyone's very kind and very nice. Um, the majority of, of everyone's very joyful. So, uh, just, just, um, you know, reach out, uh, because there's a lot of people that would love to have you, um, you know, involved and, and get to know you better and get to know your business better. So that's really it. Um, this month we did amazing with websites. Gosh, we covered all the big ones. Um, I think Kristen's doing another Weebly tomorrow. Caitlin's doing website copy tonight. We got a lot going on. Uh, product photography is next month. I know a lot of people are excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, we're going to, we're going to touch on a little bit of everything for product photography. We also have uh, Pinterest and Instagram presentations coming up. 
um, because we brought on some amazing experts for Pinterest and Instagram, and um, they're going to help us all with that, with our social media. So gosh, we have a lot going on. Um, the meetup, we're going to talk a lot about the meetup um, in the next couple coming weeks. Guys, if you can get to Atlanta, get to Atlanta. It is going to be awesome. We have you know, before I didn't have a lot of the details. Now I have a lot of stuff more coming together. Um, I'm actually setting up the expert presentations for the workshop. Um, I am going to have an amazing mindset mastermind on Sunday um, at Mary Max Tea Room. It's going to be fabulous. So if you can get here, get here. Um, I will be posting later on in the day the link to sign up for the hotel. We do have a block of rooms at the hotel for a discounted rate. Um, it is in Atlanta, Memorial Day weekend, May 28th and 29th. You have to be a Flourish member to go. So you guys are seeing this, you're Flourish members. Um, it's going to be awesome. So uh, I love you guys so much. Please uh, thank you for being, for bearing with me through this uh, video. I just, I really wanted to check in and, 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 and let you know that I know that there's, there's a little bit more to being successful than the surface stuff. And and that I'm going to I'm going to commit to you to bringing you everything I can to help you be a successful business and to bring in the money but at the same time feel sane and um, happy and positive and joyful. So guys, thanks so much. I'm going to now work on trying to put these two videos together and um, and and hopefully I'll post this to the wall later on today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Um, but thanks a lot for bearing with me and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.